In Revit, plotting your site boundary can be very easy. I mean, very, very easy. But then it can also be difficult if you don't know how to make it easy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your Revit settings to make plotting your property lines very easy for you in Revit. Let's go. Usually, this is how a, a property line is presented in the survey plan. You can see the way they presented it. You don't need to come and start solving for bearing because Revit presents you. There are two ways. Let me open up this thing. All right. So there are two ways you can do, you can plot your property line in Revit. And I'm going to show you now. When you want to plot your property line in Tire Revit, you have to go to the Manson and Site tab. You're going to see property line over here. Okay. If I should click on it now, it is going to ask me if I want to create by entering distances and bearing. I have the distances and bearing here. So I'm going to click that. But in situations where you don't have, maybe they sent you an AutoCAD file without giving you the details. That's, that's the distances and bearings written down in there. You can now decide to use sketch to create by sketch. And then in that creating by sketch, you can now use pick line to pick the lines that came in from AutoCAD. But in this situation, we're not going to do that. There's no line to pick, but we have the information. So we're going to use the information instead. So I'm going to hit this create. Now you're going to see we have distance. We have north to south and we have bearing. And we now have east to west. The entire produce left to right. All these things you need to have a knowledge of bearing. You're going to solve this and convert this thing from degrees with reference to north to this one that has to do with north and east west, north south and east west. And you don't have to do that because the surveyor already did the work for you. All you have to do, all you need to do is impute it. So I'm going to show you how to make your life easier right now. So before you do anything, you see if you are using a version of Revit that is not 2024, it might be a little bit different, but you would see a little arrow pointing downwards. Just click on it. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on, click on property line data and I'm going to change this in to degree from north south to just degrees. Once I do that, I'm going to leave this one the way it is. Once I do that, I can just hit OK. Now I want you to watch out because I, I'm going to zoom in now so that I'll be able to see this thing properly. Now, watch out. When I click on this thing again and I click this, you're going to see it is going to give us only one bearing and then one distance. Now, that is not all. I'm going to close this thing again. Now, when you look here, you'll find out that the, the distances are measured in meters, not in millimeters. So I'm going to quickly go and change my unit to millimeters so project units the length i'm going to change it to meters and i'll hit okay hit okay so now it is time for me to go back and create a property line for you this time so i'm going to hit create okay i'm going to start from here then i'm going to it is always advisable to go clockwise direction because this one is not given i'm going to show you how we're going to get it even without the information all right, so I'm going to go from this place round. So the first one is 25.09 meters. Okay, so I'm just going to 25.09 meters. Can I actually remove these zeros? Uh, it doesn't matter, it will come back. So, and then the bearing is 208 degrees see i i don't like removing this degree because when you delete this degree i don't know how i don't know how to bring the degrees back so i just edit around it okay you might know how if you know then you can delete it but me i don't know so i just edit around it so i don't lose it because when it goes i don't know how to bring it back so i'm done with the first option which is this i'm done putting the first information the bearing and the distance so when I want to put this one, I am just going to come over here and then I'm going to click insert. All right. So I'm going to do this second one, which is 29.21 meters. Then here we have 307 degrees. And then on this other side, we have 21 degrees. I'm going to hit insert again. All right, now we don't have this information, but we need it to be able to complete our property lines. So what do we do now? Just click this add line to close. When you add it, Revit is going to give you what is going to join this because what I've created, 
I've successfully created the lines from here, 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 up to this point. Now, this add line to close that I just clicked, Revit is going to just draw a line for you from here to here to link up this line, automatically giving you this line and its distance. So when I finish that, of course we are done now, I'll just hit OK. When I hit OK, you are going to see our site aligning properly as it should. As it should. Because this one is way smaller, you understand? It might look a little bit off, but trust me, it is aligned properly. So that is a side boundary. And when you create this side boundary, you go to different floors, it is going to show up there. All right? So that is how you create property lines or property boundary in Revit. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.